Yo guys, welcome back to Cryptoria. Today I'm going to be covering an alliance block, but before I do, I'll appreciate if you like, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications so you know when I upload. And with that being said, let's get into this video. So what is the alliance block? The Alliance Block Protocol is a decentralized blockchain agnostic layer 2 that bridges traditional and decentralized finance and automates the process of converting any digital or crypto asset into a bankable product. It aims to bridge traditional finance and DeFi to add value to both areas and therefore create the future of finance. The Alliance Block Protocol will help financial institutions eliminate inefficiencies and take advantage of the potential of DeFi by allowing better access to DeFi products which will see billions of dollars flowing. So guys jumping straight onto coin market cap, as you guys can see they're doing pretty well at the moment up in the top 300, currently 260F. As you guys can see currently not doing too bad, it is down 7% over the last 24 hours, current circling at the 98 cents so just underneath that dollar mark. Current market cap is over 230 million and the circling volume is over 18 million. So going over the chart very briefly, as you guys can see, it was circling underneath that 20 cent mark for quite some time. It did surge near that dollar mark until it dipped, unfortunately, back towards those 20 cent region, creating those level of support and booming all the way up to around that dollar 20 and it has dipped to where it is at the moment. In terms of where you guys can buy it, Best place being a KuCoin or Bitfinex, but you guys could check out Uniswap as well. So guys, I will be jumping over onto the website now. So I have just jumped over onto the Alliance Block website where it does say Alliance Block is building the world's first globally compliant decentralized capital market. So go ahead and check out the documentation as well. There is a lot to it as well. In terms of the videos, you could go check this out as well. It does tell you what they're trying to build as well. So Alliance Block building the future of finance. So it is pretty good and a very insightful video as well to check out. In terms of the partner supporters, as you guys can see, is very, very big names on here, such as London Stock Exchange, NatWest, Chainlink, Certic, and so on. They've got a huge amount of partners involved as well. And in terms of the media as well, they're featuring quite some big people as well, such as NASDAQ and CNN and Business as well. So guys, I will be jumping over onto the ecosystem now. So I jumped over to the section where it illustrates what Alliance Block ecosystem is. So as you guys can see, Alliance Block is creating an ecosystem of stakeholders across the full spectrum of the traditional and decentralized finance with a vision to create a fully decentralized and globally compliant capital market. So in terms of where Alliance Block is sitting, it goes towards the TradFi capital, so including private banks, investment banks and so on, the fintech providers which includes custodial services, payment gateways and so on, the DeFi, so which includes stable coins, P2P lending and so on, and legal and compliance, which includes independent law firms and so on. So in terms of the partners, so as you guys can see, their participants include financial institutions, data processors, legal and compliance entities, bookkeeping entities, fintech entities and issuers, investor entities. So that is pretty much how the ecosystem sits, where Alliance Block is sitting within the whole ecosystem. So hopefully this gives you more of an insight of what this is doing. So guys, I will be jumping over onto tokenomics now. So I have jumped over onto the token section where as you guys can see, ALBT token economy. We have designed the token economics to ensure that platform and revenue growth correlate with the increased utility and demand of the ALBT token. So going down to here, the ALBT token are the backbone of the Alliance Block ecosystem. The ALBT token serves as a multi-purpose tool to be utilized as the primary medium of exchange, means of reward for ecosystem participants and network fee payment mechanism. So going over the utility, the medium of exchange, token burn, staking, network fees, token burn and means of rewards. So the token burn is between 25 to 50% of fees will automatically be confiscated of the protocol and burn quarterly. You could be staking the rewards as well. So by setting up institutional data or service node, network participants will participate in the staking protocol. So it's pretty big in terms of what these guys are doing. Go ahead and check out more about the token numbers over here as well, guys. So guys, I will be jumping onto some recent news now. So in terms of recent news and 
and where the project is heading to I have jumped over onto the roadmap where you can find this on the website as well as you guys can see they've illustrated this very well very quirky and very futuristic as well in terms of where this project is heading to so for example as you guys can see in q3 there's such big projects such as Elrond partnership cv labs and the pagnolin partnership as well so they got such big partnerships happening on just in q3 even jumping onto q4 as you guys can see there's personal loans project loans nft bridgings as well as well as so many other things happening along there as well they also got projections for q1 q2 and q3 for next year as well such as terminal launch data nodes compliant decks launch as well and as well as other projects as well so go ahead and check this out as well in terms of other recent news there is this article that i found on the alliance for website where it does say what does no mercy mean to you to thank our loyal no mercy community we're inviting 10 of our local community members to join us in our mega celebration in zug on 17th of september so go ahead and check that out as well guys it's huge huge things and it also gives you more of an insight of you know actually mixing up and talking with these people who actually made this project as well so it's very nice for them as well so going down as you guys can see win the chance to join alliance block team for no mercy event in zog switzerland to give back to support creativity and passion of the community alliance block extends an invitation to most valued community members to come and join our corporate event on the 17th of september so go ahead and check this out as well guys it's very nice that they're doing this there is that article here in terms of how you can join so you have to answer the question what does no mercy mean to you through a creative tweet incorporating images text video animations and memes etc so you guys go ahead and go crazy with creativity tag our twitter handle and join their telegram as well to share the tweet just so you can head you know and get more retweets and shares and so on just so you get more chance of getting this prize as well so guys go ahead and check this out as well so guys i will be jumping on to price analysis now so what everyone's been waiting for the price analysis so guys as you guys can see i have jumped on some monthly just to show you where price is rejecting from at the moment so i have drawn out these two zones so this zone being here this resistance level formed around that 70 cent mark and as you guys can see the last month did pretty well and completely went over that resistance level towards that high around that dollar 10 and even this month as you guys can see has been very bullish as well but has been rejected that dollar 50 quite hard over here so that is where i see price at the moment jumping over to weekly as you guys can see have drawn out that resistance level around that dollar 50 on the dot and i said already guys has been rejecting that level pretty hard last week in fact so last week it did touch all the way to that dollar 50 and has rejected it completely hard did have that low around that 99 cent level over here but has finished around there around that dollar 10 mark so where i see price at the moment heading to if the week ends bearish this week as well the we, uh, the price may be heading towards that low around that 85 cent level around that resistance level around here as you guys can see so what price might do is go down here create level of support around 85 cents before heading back up breaking this level of resistance around that dollar 25 maybe creating support again around that dollar 25 before breaking those all-time highs around that dollar 50 and then going towards that two dollar two dollar 50 mark initially or what it might do completely break down and go towards that resistance level around that 65 cent level before creating level supports and going back up towards that dollar uh, dollar mark initially so that is what i see price going to or where it might happen is going towards those lows around that 25 cent level around those strong level of support but i don't ever see that uh, happening especially as i showed you on that roadmap especially when there's loads of news happening as well i don't see that happening but guys i do want to show you the worst case scenario as well so that is pretty much the worst case scenario going towards those lows around that support level around that 25 cent level before going back up towards those dollar marks so those are the three sort of players i will be showing you in terms of where price might be heading to especially as the week has been very bearish for the last month or so it's been very bullish so just be aware of the a clean retracement coming back down as well jumping over onto the daily as you guys can see i've drawn out that zone again around that dollar 50 and the zone around that 90 cent level as you guys can see the last couple of days have been very choppy very been bullish bearish bullish bullish bearish so what might happen right now is that I'd completely go back down towards that resistance that i formed over here before creating level of support and going bouncing back up to those highs around that dollar 25 initially or what it might do is break down completely and go towards that 70 cent level is where i see price heading to but this is just a short-term analysis in terms of where it might 
be heading to jumping over onto the four hour as you guys can see there does seem to be that double top pattern forming around that dollar 15 cent level so if it does play out well and it breaks this level of support around that 99 cent level i do see price going down towards the lows around that 75 cent level before creating level of supports and heading back up towards those dollar levels so that is what i think price is heading to guys let me know what you guys think make sure you smash the like button subscribe and turn on bell notifications so you know when i upload and with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next video